Hello and welcome. In this demonstration video, I will be showing the Dell EMC Unity VSA and how it can provide networked file services for VMware Horizon VDI deployments in the VMware Cloud. My name is Darren Schmitz, part of the technical solutions team here at Dell EMC. Before I get to the demo, let's first quickly talk about some of the key benefits. The first point that I would like to make is that the Dell EMC Unity VSA is a fully supported solution. This means that licensed versions of the appliance can provide access to Dell EMC support services, such as EMC Secure Remote Support, otherwise known as ESRS, and even Cloud IQ. That being said, one of the key benefits for the Unity VSA is that it prevents administrators from having to create and license their own NAS server, such as with Microsoft Windows or some form of Linux server variant. Another key benefit is that when using the Unity NAS Management MMC plugin, admins can configure the Unity VSA to auto-create user directories. In turn, snapshots can be scheduled to auto-protect the data at regular intervals. Matter of fact, these snapshots are actually what enables the self-service file restores. In addition, admins can configure the built-in quota rules to create capacity restrictions that can be set at the user or directory level. For added flexibility, multi-protocol support offers a wide variety of ways users can store data. The typical example is for admins to create SMB shares for Windows clients as well as NFS mounts for the Linux clients. Finally, the appliance also provides enterprise level integration points for things such as antivirus scanning and NDMP backups. So let's get to the demo. As you can see in our VMware Cloud vCenter instance, we have an installation of VMware Horizon that has been configured and has a small pool of about 10 Windows virtual desktops deployed. In addition, the Unity VSA has been deployed alongside the other virtual machines. Now let me switch to a jump box in the environment to show some of the other pieces that we've already configured. The first thing I want to show is some of the items configured in the Unity VSA. When we deployed the Unity VSA, one of the first things done was to create a NAS server. The NAS server was assigned an IP and joined into the Active Directory domain via this screen. When we click on NFS, from this particular tab, if there's any need for another protocol, such as NFS, that can be configured here as well. In addition, the antivirus scanning and the replication can be configured in these tabs. For example, if there are existing company investments in Dell EMC Unity arrays, the NAS data can be replicated to any of them provided there is IP connectivity, such as back to an array located on-prem. Let's get out of this wizard by clicking close. Now let's switch to the file systems view. The second task done was to create a file system. So let's look at the settings for FS01. The first tab I want to focus on is the snapshots protecting the file system. This is the list of snapshots that have been previously taken to protect the data. The snapshot schedule here can be very flexible. In this example, the Homder schedule takes snapshots hourly and keeps them for seven hours and takes snapshots each workday that is kept for a week. Just to note, this schedule and the resulting snaps are what dictates the self-service recovery points that I'll show in a little bit. The quota section allows us to configure user quotas. Admins also have the ability to specify quota exceptions, such as for workers or groups that need more space than the default quota. To set a quota on particular directories, it is done in the quota tree section. For setting the default user quota, I click on Manage Quota Settings. So for example, I'll enable this. Uh, I can set a soft limit of 10 gigs and a hard limit 
of 15 gigs. In the grace period, we can set to eight days and click OK. Now let's click out of this so I can show the share. The last thing that was done in configuring the appliance was to create the share itself. As you can see, the SMB share is named Homder for the user file directories. Next, let's talk about the auto create directories feature. To configure it, we installed the Dell EMC Unity NAS Management MMC plugin on a machine joined into the domain. So let me open that. This plugin allows the configuration of antivirus, the auto home directory creation, and even the Unix user management. Now let me open up the policy I created earlier. This is the new home directory entry I pre-created that auto creates all the user account home directories on FS01. This feature is nice because the admin can create multiple entries for multiple domains and even set custom directory permissions from within each. If we take a peek at the actual file share, when the new accounts are created in Active Directory, it actually only takes a moment before the associated directory appears in the shared folder. So let me show that in action by creating a new account. So let me go into the Active Directory Users and Computers. I'm going to take an example account. I'm going to right click on it and say copy. For name, I'm going to just say James Smith. Create a user account. Uh, say next. Specify the password. And next and finish. As you can see, the James Smith directory was created almost instantaneously. As mentioned earlier, using the Unity VSA snapshots is actually what enables the self-service recovery. If I right click on a directory and say properties and go to the previous versions tab, when I click on it, it shows the restore points for any user folder. Now this is a view of the folder with the versions of the files from four minutes ago. A user or administrator can recover these files quickly and easily. In conclusion, the Dell EMC Unity VSA has many benefits when used in conjunction with VMware Horizon deployments, especially when deployed in the VMware cloud. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit dell.com slash storage resources, as well as any provided links in the video description below.